Well, look what just dropped out of the sky. It's the holy grail of point-and-shoot cameras. Stay tuned for my full review. Every once in a blue moon, a digital camera saunters across my desk that makes me change the way I view digital cameras in general. The Canon PowerShot S100 is one of those cameras. By far, this is the best advanced point-and-shoot digital camera I have ever tested in my years and years of playing with digital cameras. Compared to last year's S95, the S100 is festooned with upgrades. First of all, we'll start with the EOS-inspired 12 megapixel 1 over 1.7 inch CMOS sensor. Yes, this sensor actually has advanced technologies that you could find in Canon's EOS DSLR lineup. The sensor is also coupled with Canon's new Digic 5 processing, which makes the camera faster. It can record up to 8 frames per second in burst mode at full resolution. And this camera is better at noise management. We've also got an increase to 1080p video on this camera, up from 720p last year at 24 frames per second, and 720p video has been upgraded to 30 frames per second on this camera. Canon also radically designed the lens. We have a 5x optical zoom and 24 millimeter wide angle capability, and that's because Canon added more elements to the lens and made it a coin size configuration. It's some fantastic engineering, and the lens, the sensor, and the processor were all developed in-house, so this camera is just built from the ground up. Canon goodness. I forgot to mention the fact that Canon put GPS on this camera, so it can now do GPS logging, and it has a maps utility using Google. Lastly, on the design front, you'll notice that this camera is bathed in a sexy matte black finish. And it's got a grip on the back and a front grip as well, so it's easier to shoot with. So now it's the moment you've all been waiting for, image quality. I am not lying when I tell you this, I reviewed several cameras in my time. This is the best image quality you can ask for on a point and shoot camera. Shazam! I could shoot at high ISO levels, 1600, even 3200, and still produce impressive images. The ISO has also been expanded to 6400 natively at full resolution. This camera also retains the f2.0 lens, so it's nice and bright, and it helps it in low light. The 1080p HD videos were also fantastic. It was the best video quality I've seen from an advanced point and shoot as well. I could shoot RAW and JPEG, and I found that RAW held just a slight edge over the JPEG. The JPEG quality was actually that good. So thanks to that EOS DNA and the new Digic 5 processor, Canon's retooled lens, this camera is the best I just, I'm, I'm having a moment. I'm getting verklempt. I also love the design of the S100. Canon carried over the lens ring, and this is a fantastic tool. This is fully customizable. It can control white balance. It can control ISO. It can control aspect ratios. You name it. There's also a new ring function button. So like a shortcut button, and we also have the control dial on the back. For manual controls, we have a shutter speed that can dip down to 15 seconds. We also have a built-in neutral density filter. That's for lowering the light so we can use a longer shutter speed in brighter situations. Now it's interesting to note that anything past one second with this shutter, the camera will default to an ISO 80, and Canon did that deliberately to reduce noise. Though this camera is such a great high ISO performer, I found that I could use a little extra exposure when I was maxed out at 15 seconds. White balance was fantastic. We had a four pane color grid selector. We also had a quick function, warm temp, cool temp slider, and manual focus was great because we have a three inch 461,000 pixel LCD that allowed us to attain sharp detail, edges, lines, and contrasts courtesy of the manual focus magnification box. There's an electronic pop-up flash that seamlessly pops up when the flash is engaged and it has advanced controls like flash exposure compensation, shutter sync with first and second curtain. Of course we have creative filters like HDR, color accent, and toy camera. Most of them could be used in video as well. The S100 has a fantastic playback system. We can view RGB histograms. We can see GPS coordinates. We get full EXIF data. The menus are fast and intuitive thanks to the Speedy Gonzales and Roadrunner firmware. My two minor complaints with this camera, battery life was one, 
It's got a thin, small pack, and I shot side by side with the PowerShot SX40 HS, which outlasted it twofold. Uh, the other thing is the shutter button's kind of small and you have to reach over the mode dial. Takes a little acclimation, but that's not a big problem. So just get an extra battery pack and Bob's your uncle. There's no doubt about the fact that the Canon PowerShot S100 is the best advanced point and shoot on the market, and I'm talking about it over the G12, over last year's S95, over Panasonic's, over Sony's. Um, I really have not come across a camera that takes such fantastic images and videos and packs in so many manual controls in this sexy matte black frame. For the full Canon PowerShot S100 review, go to technobuffalo.com. I've got tons of image samples, most of them converted from RAW, so you can see the highest quality available. I also have 1080p samples and further ISO analysis, so you can see the ISO chart. But this is just, I sleep with this at night. I love it so much. This has been Mike Perlman for Techno Buffalo. This is the omnipotent Canon PowerShot S100, the best point and shoot, advanced point and shoot I have ever encountered. I'm gonna go skip away with glee and capture some more pictures. I'll see you guys later.